This is Grace from God Nails. I would like to introduce my aunt for, for a speech. All right. This is the fourth God Nails and Cocktails. It's a Boston situation. We're here at Skulls Bar live. We have so many vendors in the building, so many different people. Got Nails Cocktails. Here's Coco herself, the diva, the reason for the season, the mastermind behind it all. What was your vision when you decided to have these annual Got Nails and Cocktails? Um, my vision, hey sister, my vision was really to motivate women really of all genres and to really like promote each other, network, and also really just to love on each other because that's what a bossy situation do. We have bossy solutions and that begins with love. Love, L-O-V-E. This your girl, Dominique Nietzsche, also known the owner of Glam Goddess by Nietzsche, coming soon and next year. We're gonna go ahead and take a spin around Got Nails and Cocktails so we can go ahead and meet some of these Houston business owners. Here we have Miss Diana Warren, who is a chef of Houston, Texas. She has actually, um, she has a Houston Trend Magazine to where she has all of her chef ideas, health guru tips, um, just just a way of, of living a good life and how to eat. Would you care to share a little bit of the tips of what you do and how you feel about the boss? Movement. Sure, I I am loving the bossy situation movement where all these wonderful women that can network together, you know, can get together and we can share our knowledge with with ladies, you know, that are like minded. But about six heart meals, I prepare healthy meals for my clients. But I also it's it's more about a a complete healthy lifestyle. I'll not only do the meals, I do personal training, nutritional counseling, things of that nature. So if someone is looking to modify not just you know how they look outwardly, but you know inwardly, because it's more about you know your health than you know how you actually look. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just want to get people, you know, right and let them know that it's not hard. Like a lot of people think that eating healthy is hard. It's not. So, you know, that's one of the things that I'm here to do is show people that it's really easy and I can do it for you. Looking at her looks, I would definitely, <laughs> I would let, definitely let her lead me the way hair is laid for the gods. Here we have Miss Chrissy Couture. Miss Chrissy, you care to show your beautiful face for the camera? She has wonderful jewelry pieces, wonderful phone cases. She's been in business for about three years now, going strong. Miss Christy, would you like to share with the camera about the Boston Situation Movement and how you feel about it? Well, the Boston Situation Movement is a wonderful movement where women, all shapes, sizes, colors, creeds, can come together as one to showcase their talent and their abilities and empower other women with the same purpose. Awesome. awesome. Boss Situation Movement, Miss Chrissy Couture. Here we have Miss LaShonda with La Pierce. She is a triple, quadruple threat. Not only does she do interior design, she is a fashion guru, fashion stylist, fashion vista. She is laid for the gods, hair is laid, face is beat. How do you feel about being here at the Boston Situation Movement? Oh, I think it's a wonderful event. I'm just excited to be a part of it. Um, you know, just anything to get the word out about what I do, about my brand, about what I can offer to others. Um, that's just it. How long have you been in business? Uh, since 2005. 2005. Mm -hmm. My mission is simple. It's just to ensure that people look mm -hmm. and live beautifully exactly. at the same damn time. Same time. <laughs> like she said, look and live beautifully yeah. at the same damn time. I just believe that um, basically fashion is, you know, a lifestyle and interior design is fashion in the home. So exactly. that's just what I do. And you start within, that way when you walk out, you zoom right what out. I tell you, you take care of the inside, I can handle the outside. Okay. <laughs> there you have it. Oh, here we have Miss Karma Soul internationally. She's not locally known, she's internationally known. <laughs> All the way from Atlanta, Houston, Texas, Third Ward, we have Miss Karma Soul. She, she has the latest and greatest arm pieces, ear pieces, neck pieces, whatever you want, she'll book you for the year. <laughs> she'll lay you, lay you and slaying people 
for the gods. Now, Miss Carmiso, you've been in business for a very long time. Thank y'all. Praise God. Now, how do you feel about the boss situation movie? This is not your. This is not only your first time coming to cocktail. I mean, got nails and cocktails. You've been here several times. How do you feel about this boss situation movement? It's like a play. Yeah, it's it's a movement. It really is a movement. I'm a big fan of sisterhood. You know what I mean? I love independent designers, small business owners, and you know, Coco. Um, she's so humble. Yeah, she does her thing, you know, so I love supporting her as my friend. She's always supporting me and my art and my craft. So together, you know, we always do bigger and better things because the synergy of it all, you know, just spark a lot of growth within the community, period. So I've been doing this with my family and, you know, Coco been servicing me probably for the last since I've been in Houston, you know, and we just keep it moving. So she got my heart. And, and how long have you been in business? Um, well, my family is going on um, like 42 years now, so I'm a second generation um, business owner. Me and my sister and my mom, and we started another generation. We also have a third generation of business owners, and we go back probably about five generations of just crafting and artistic stuff. But me on my own, with my own business per se, outside of just my family's business, it's been about like 13, well, 13 years with Karma Soul, because before that, you know, I was doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Exactly. I was the toe ring queen before I was the air ring queen, you did. But you heard of herself. Karma soul, it runs deep. <laughs> it runs deep. She said 13 years, over 40 plus years with throughout the family. It runs deep. Karma soul, love. Internationally known. <laughs> the microphone. You want, you want to put it on a beat? Put it on a beat. Hey, hey, hey. Got nails. Cocktails, put it on a beat. Hey, we keep it in the stove, we keep it in the street, we keep it. Re you know, we give them the heat. Uh, uh, it's a bossy situation. I ain't never on vacation. I keep it working, I keep it twerking. Get it at the table. You know that I am able. Lights, camera, action. We give you satisfaction. Put it on a beat. Hey, 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 got nails, cocktails. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dominique Nietzsche. I am here at the Boston Situation event. This is a wonderful movement to see all of these wonderful, beautiful black women empowering each other, supporting each other. I have been knowing Coco for about three and a half years. She actually been doing my nails since she, since, I don't know, since I came from college. Um, and since then, she has um, always uplifted me, giving me kind words of encouragement. I am so happy she was able to jumpstart the Boss Situation movement. I feel that it's going to be above and beyond. Um, once again, my name is Dominique Nietzsche. I will be coming out with a line at the top of the year um, called Glam Goddess by Nietzsche. Embrace your inner goddess. Everyone is a goddess, and you will soon find out what the actual line would be to embrace that. Um, but here, we're just going to keep talking to all of the wonderful business owners, get to know how they feel about the boss situation, and what made them spark their interest of becoming a business owner that they are. If they can do it, you can do it. Okay, here we have Miss Ashana, who is the owner of Fashionably Late Boutique. Miss Ashana, how do you feel about the boss situation movement that Coco has thrived for all these young ladies today? I love Coco's Boston Situation movement. I'm in a sisterhood myself, so I love when other women can empower women. She reaches out to women in fashion and, and nails and hair and makeup and all, all venues of life, and she kind of, you know, fills us in and lets us all get together. So I really love that. Awesome. You heard it herself. All the way from the north side. There are good things on the north side, people. Come out and see her boutique, Fashionably Late Boutique, Miss Ashana. Here we have my baby sister, Gabrielle Giles, who is the owner of Hand Candy. And as you can see, she is selling for the gods. Trying on the Hand Candy. Gabby, tell the camera how do you feel about the Boss Situation movement and how do you start Hand Candy? I love it. I started Hand Candy um, this year, earlier this year, and um, I just came up with an idea to make these crosses on your hands. And with that, I ventured off into earrings, rings, and et cetera. There you have it. Any, it's able. Put your mind to it. You can do it. Shine bright like a diamond. You see, she has diamonds on the table. Shine bright like a diamond. Here we have Miss Janetta to come out to the Bossy Situation Movement. Here we are in the wonderful ambience of ancest, ancestor, ancestor, ancestor vintage. Miss Janetta, how do you feel about the Bossy Situation Movement that Coco has sparked up? 
Oh, I love it. I think it's an awesome way for women to get together, for everybody to get together and help support each other and just get out there and just do the things that we love to do and support each other at the That's same right. time. Exactly. Say, <laughs> now, how long how long have you been have you been doing ancestor um Vintage. Ancestor Vintage started in 2007. Wow. Yeah, wow. 2000. So here we go. We have the actual heart and the soul behind her wonderful boss situation movement. Thank you, Miss Janetta. Thank you.